a fairly typical tale of like working class New York kids from Queens just hanging out, playing some music, taking some drugs, whatever they were doing, and then just almost stumbling into this as a career. And then I guess after two, three, four years, you start to get a little bit of attention and things get exciting. You're hanging around with people who are more famous than you. You're playing at CBGBs, you're doing all that stuff. And yet it never quite happens and it never quite clicks in the way maybe it should have done. And you see other people around you, it's happening for them, it's happening for people you know. And at what point do you say to yourself, do we keep going? Should we give up? Well, come on! Hey, could I be wrong? Well, come on! Coming on too strong. Well, come on! Well, mercy! Everyone can see that you're coming on to me. I'm gonna tell your girlfriends and your boyfriends too. It's a story less about a band than it is about men sticking to their principles and sticking to their, to their dreams. They had the recipe and they stuck to the recipe. You could see it in their performance. They never mail it in, they walk the walk. They are the real thing. They are a real party band. You know, I, I couldn't conceive of the Flesh Tones selling out in, in some way. You know, it's a, it, if they did, they wouldn't be the Flesh Tones. And the Flesh Tones do a uniquely rock and roll show. It's constant movement, no gaps, no turning your back on the audience, no plaid shirts, no gazing at the floor, no long drum solos, no long guitar solos. They've never had a lot of success, they've never made a lot of money. They're loved and they're great, but you know, they just keep plugging on. And you gotta respect that because, you know, most people that form bands, they wanna be in a band when they're 15. And then, you know, oh, they get to be 30 and, well, you know, it's easier if you have a real job. And oh, forget those youthful ideals. We'll forget those things. We'll just go on and, you know, make a little bit of money. And with the Flesh Tones, they're just full steam ahead. Good not to bother yourself with numbers and figures and that kind of stuff. You make music, people listen to it, they like it, you make more music. And uh, whether it's, you know, 30 people in the East Village or 1,000 people in Paris, they're digging it, you're having a good time. Well, what's the point of breaking up? You know, you really only deprive yourself of the pleasure, and I think they realize that, that um, being a flesh tone is so important to, to, well, not just everybody else, but to them, that um, they can't help themselves. Okay, you guys, where are we going? I do, of course, wish, you know, we played to a lot more people here in this country. I mean, you know, I, I wish we were just like, let's say, the way the cramps are here in this country. You know, I wish we were at that, at that level, but we're not, you know. And um, why? I'm not sure exactly. Consciously, I don't even consider us a part of the music industry, which is not true at all, because we are. It would be a real perverse act quit the band now. It would be the, the height of perversity and, and, and senselessness. Quit the flesh tones now. Makes no sense. What? Who, first of all, <laughs> what difference would it make in the scheme of the world? Uh, it doesn't hurt to be in the band at all. The only band that debuted at CBGB's in 1976 in their case, uh, without ever breaking up, without ever having a, a single inactive year, always recording, always touring. And as for me, I must get ready. Now I reveal. Yeah. I now, reveal. You, now you reveal. I reveal my metallic shirt for tonight. Are you feeling good? Say yeah! yeah. Are you feeling ready? Say yeah! 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 yeah. 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 yeah.